Hello, thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about the anti-bot mobile SDK on F5's advanced web application firewall. One of the problems that we talked about in the proactive bot defense video was that our bot protection can actually prevent our legitimate mobile applications from being able to access their APIs living at the same place. So we're going to talk about how to alleviate that problem by integrating the SDK into your mobile application. It may sound difficult, but it's actually really trivial, and we're going to show you how right now. All right, let's take a look. So we have a simple application deployed behind a big IP. When we go to it with a web browser, we just get a JSON payload response. So I built a simple mobile application that just shows the payload response that we get back. So let's go ahead and type that in. Same place. And then we'll see what response we get back. Great, there's our JSON payload. Let's see what happens when we implement proactive bot defense in front of this. So there's another video that covers proactive bot defense implementations and, and how you can leverage it. So take a look at that if you're wondering how this policy is built. So now if we come over here, we can see that this is still working. What about our mobile app? Okay, that's a very different response now. So let's look at what's actually happening here. We can see that this is actually layer seven DOS protections. And in fact, what's happening here is it's a JavaScript challenge. So if we look right here down at the very bottom, we can see that uh, it says, please enable JavaScript to view the page content and it gives us a support ID. So our mobile app no longer functions with this in place. What can we do about that? Fortunately, we can go to our DOS profile and we can enable the mobile anti-bot solution. So here we would go to enabled for mobile app protection. For iOS, we could type in the name of our package or select any package name, which we'll do here. And we're not gonna use Android right now. Now note that we could also say when normally, when a capture challenge or client side integrity challenge would be required, what should we do? Always passed or challenge for human behavior. So we could look for human behavior within the device and we can allow emulators or not. And note that we can also block jailbroken devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit update here. So we've now made a change for the policy, but we need to fix the app because it needs to have the SDK integrated into it. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at those logs. So here we can see that we've got traffic. We can see that there was a challenge, no valid cookie. So we're challenging that mobile device and it's not able to respond. So the way that we're gonna handle this is we're gonna use AppDome to fuse the anti-bot mobile SDK from F5 into our application. So this is a partnership that we have and it makes it very simple for you to integrate the SDK directly in. So it's pretty easy to use. So we'll add an application. So we have to upload the IPA or APK file. We don't need the source code, just the binary. So we'll go ahead and select that. Great, we've got this. We'll hit next. All right, so we're gonna choose the F5 Antibot. This is the protected host that we're working on right now, abm.f5se.com, so we would put those in. We can do certificate pinning. We can handle the, the dynamic cookies. We can also add in extra protections for our application like anti-tampering, anti-debugging, and anti-reversing, and so forth. So there's a lot of extra value that AppDome is providing here in addition. So we're gonna fuse the application. This is integrating the SDK into our existing application binary. Okay, Fusion's complete. We'll click Next. We can go through context. We can change the display name, some of the icons, things like that. We're going to go ahead and skip that for now, and we're going to go to signing. So for signing, we can either upload our keys, and we can sign it right here in AppDem, and they make it easy to do, or you can download the unsigned file and sign it offline. Either way works. So I'm going to choose to sign it on AppDome. 
and then I'm going to enter my key. And then I have to choose a provisioning profile, so you can get this from the Apple developer site. And then we'll click sign. I'm going to say no, I don't want to save my credentials, but I could save them here so that it would be quick to fuse apps later on. Okay, great. Signing is complete. Now we can download the fused app. I'm going to deploy this now. Great, it's deployed. We'll go ahead and open that up and let's do the exact same thing. This time we get access. Let's take a look at our logs. Now we can see we've got a valid mobile application cookie. All right, we've successfully enabled our mobile application to work by fusing the Antibot mobile SDK into our mobile application. It only took us a couple of minutes to do and we got a bunch of extra security benefits out of that. So thanks for watching. That's all there is to implementing the Antibot mobile SDK on F5's advanced web application firewall.